We have already gone over how C mods and X mods work. Another interesting fact about them is that they can be used together. However, you must define the X mod before the C mod. It isn't possible to use negative X mods, but you can use 0x. You are allowed to use negative C mods, however, although I haven't found any useful application for this. There isn't much to go over with perspective mods. Hallway acts like distant when used with negative percentages, and vice versa. Incoming acts like space with negative percentages, but the tilt of the playfield is angled in the opposite direction. Another thing to note is high percentages. At around 300%, the view is almost completely parallel to the playing field, as opposed to being perpendicular on overhead. Anything beyond that, and the playing field starts to flip vertically. You'll see the back ends of the notes, which aren't rendered with the default ITG note skins. Reverse, Split, Cross, and Alternate are practically the same mod, with the only difference being that they affect certain columns. Percentages work very oddly with these mods. To keep things simple for now, let's use Reverse as our primary example. From 0 to 50%, Reverse compresses all the columns. During this transition, it will look like your speed mod is decreasing, when really it's just the entire playfield that is compressing. At exactly 50%, the currently rendered notes and the targets are all compressed on top of each other. You can see that other mods still affect the notes normally. From 51 to 100%, Reverse has the notes going from top to bottom, and uncompressing as the percentage increases. At percentages beyond 100%, something unusual starts to happen. The playfield starts to revert back as if it were going to 0% reverse, or no reverse. In other words, 200% reverse will look the same as 0% reverse, as will 400%, 600%, and so on. In the same vein, 100% reverse will look like 300% reverse, and 500%, and 700%, and so on. By using high percentages of reverse combined with a proper attack rate, you can get a bouncing reverse effect going. Negative percentages of reverse actually do something quite different and more expected than positive percentages. Negative reverse will actually stretch out the playfield, including speed mods and rendering space for the notes. It might look like you have an absurdly high speed mod, but theoretically if you read in the exact middle of the screen, your reading ability should not change. Other than that, there are some very interesting things that you can do with negative reverse, so much that it could really warrant its own video. We will definitely look into this even deeper in the future. Now let's talk about Centered for a brief moment. Centered is used to position the playfield vertically. However, it is affected by the scroll mods. We're going to use Reverse as an example again. Without Reverse, Centered acts normally. While Reverse is active, Centered will move the targets up from its original position. At 50% Reverse, Centered will not move the targets at all. And likewise, negative reverse and percentages near 50% will make centered move the targets faster and slower, respectively. Ultimately, 100% centered will always converge all targets in the middle of the screen. Now we're going to go over how the acceleration mods work under different percentages. Let's start with XL and DCL. Excel behaves like decel when you have negative percentages, with a slight difference being a smoother deceleration with negative Excel. For percentages higher than 100%, the acceleration becomes sharper. Depending on your speed mod and percentage, notes appear to move up the screen normally, but they will stop or even go backwards briefly, and then accelerate towards the targets. Conversely, decel behaves like Excel when you have negative percentages, with a slight difference being a smoother acceleration with negative decel. For percentages higher than 100%, the notes will decelerate past the targets and then come back. You can't go too far above 100% to use this effectively, depending on your speed mod, because of the limited rendering space past the targets. Another thing to watch out for is that it will be nearly impossible to judge the length of holds. Now let's move on to Wave. The effect of Wave is that it alters the speed of the notes at certain points, on their way to the targets. Think of it as an oscillating XL and D-cell. 
How and where this happens also depends on your speed mod. When you crank up the percentage, the oscillation becomes more intense. At 200%, the notes come to a dead stop for a brief moment, and then continue upwards. Anything beyond 200%, and the notes will travel backwards slightly, then continue upwards. When you use negative percentages of wave, the oscillation is inverted. In other words, at the points where the notes would accelerate, they now decelerate, and vice versa. Next up is expand. Expand stretches and compresses the note field. It basically oscillates your speed mods at a fixed interval. Expand is not affected by tempo changes, however, the oscillation comes to a halt during tempo stops. Positive percentages of expand favor speeds higher than the current speed mod, while negative percentages favor lower speed mods. The rate of the oscillation is the same, regardless of the percentage. At high enough percentages of either positive or negative, the lower limit of the speed mod will go into the negatives, causing the notes to go past the targets. That's it for expand. Now it's time for boomerang. First off, the effect of boomerang does not change regardless of what percentage you use for it, whether it is positive or negative, unless you use 0%, in which case it is completely turned off anyway. Second, Boomerang is also not affected by attack rates, except if you're using an attack rate of zero. On a quick side note, any negative attack rate will crash the game. Despite these limitations, you can still do a few interesting things with Boomerang. The point in which the notes change direction back to the targets depends on your X mod. C mods affect Boomerang in a different way. The time the note takes to get from top to bottom to top depends on the BPM of the song. You can change how long the process takes by using a C mod. In the case of Boomerang, C mods artificially change the BPM. A higher C mod will speed up the transition, while a lower C mod will make it take longer. This does not change where the notes stop and switch direction. Now on to the final acceleration mod, Bumpy. Percentages work as expected with this mod. High percentages of both positive and negative will increase the apex. The difference is that, where the height of the note is at its highest with a positive percentage, the note is at its lowest height with the same negative percentage. In other words, if the height of positive bumpy were plotted out like a waveform, the negative counterpart would be the inverse of that wave. 